What's going on guys? And welcome to part one of the new series, Creating Your Six Pack. So this series will consist of four parts, and when done, we'll provide you with an awesome routine that will target your abdominal muscles through all their major functions. So when I say abdominal muscles, I'm talking about your rectus abdominis, your external obliques, your internal obliques, and then your transverse abdominis. So your rectus abdominis, simply it connects your xiphoid process and your rib cage to your pelvis. So its main function is just to bring these two points closer together. And it can do this through a couple of different ways. It can either flex the trunk forward, which brings your rib cage closer to your pelvis. It can posteriorly tilt your pelvis, bringing it closer to your rib cage, or it can do a combination of both. The exercise we're gonna go through today is gonna to focus more on the posterior tilt of the pelvis, bringing it closer to your rib cage, which is why you'll feel it more in your lower abdominal area. And then one last thing I wanna to touch on before we go ahead and dive into today's exercise is the transverse abdominis. So your transverse abdominis is your innermost abdominal muscle. It's underneath, you know, your rectus abdominis, it's underneath your obliques. And its main function is to compress the abdominal wall, pulling it inward, which raises pressure inside your abdomen. And this is important for a lot of things because this supports the vertebral column. And so when you do exercises like the squat or the deadlift, it allows you to hold your spine in a good neutral position without it collapsing forward into a bad position. So, and there's a lot of different ways you can train your uh, transverse abdominis, but a good way to do this is any kind of exercise which forces you to put your spine in a good neutral position and then have to stabilize it and hold it there. So something like a plank or actually doing squats and deadlifts are a great way to train that muscle. And today's exercise will actually train the transverse abdominis as well as long as we engage it before we start the exercise. And I'll explain how to do that as we go through the exercise. So with that, let's go ahead and head downstairs and get started. This is one of my personal favorite ab exercises to really target that lower abdominal region. It's called the cable lying hip raise. Start off by attaching cable ankle straps to both of your ankles and then attach these straps to the cable. Next, lay down on the floor and just make sure that you're far enough away from the pulley so that there's tension on the cable when your legs are fully extended. Then grab the other pulley track behind you to support your body and keep yourself from moving. Now is when we want to engage that transverse abdominus we talked about. So to do this, just suck in and think about pulling everything inward. A tip that really helps me is to think about pulling my belly button towards my spine. Next, bend your knees and bring your hips to about a 90 degree angle with your torso and then keeping everything compressed and keeping that transverse abdominus engaged, breathe out and flex your waist to bring your pelvis closer to your rib cage. Make sure you breathe out completely as you do this to really help get that good contraction. At the top of the movement, your spine should be rolled up towards you. That's how you know you're using your abdominal muscles to complete the exercise. Once your abdominal muscles are fully contracted, lower your legs back to the starting position while breathing in. Just make sure to keep everything pulled in and that you keep your transverse abdominus engaged the entire time. And there are a couple different ways you can do this movement. I just really prefer this variation because it does a good job of isolating your abdominal muscles while minimizing the involvement of other muscle groups such as your hip flexors. All right guys, there you go. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and share it with your friends. I'll see you guys back here next week for part two. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.